Welcome to chapter 7. This is part A, which is editing of the micromod block. Now I'll reiterate this a couple of times through here, but uh, there are a couple of different ways for you to be able to edit any of the effects that are in the box. Now we've already learned that you can turn on and off an effect. Micromod is off. Micromod is on. Micromod is off. Micromod is on. Fairly straightforward. There's two ways that you can get at editing that. You say, oh, I'm listening to this sound. Huh? I don't really like that. What are you going to do? You want to change it, right? You can either press and hold on the effect itself, and that'll jump you straight to the page that allows you to manipulate the micromod. Or you can go out and go back to the effect screen here. Instead of pressing on the button here and having it jump straight to it, you can just press edit, and that will get into the edit page as well. Pressing edit again gets you into the advanced editing mode, which has some extra uh, parameters on each one of these effects, or most of them have. I think Choir doesn't have it, but uh, most of them will have some sort of uh, extra layer of, of stuff that you can control. So we're going to go back to effects here. I'm going to press and hold Micromod to get into it, jump straight to Micromod, and I say, I'm listening to myself. I'm going to use Control. I'm going to turn it on. There we go. I'm listening to myself with a flanger right now. And I might say, I like that flanger, but I don't like the level. You've got a level control here. I can blend it in, have more or less of it happening. You can hear it happening in my voice. And I can also adjust something like the speed, so how fast it flanges up and down. You can hear how that changes. And of course, the style, which is the, the common thing you're going to change, is going to just be with your finger here. And it goes through all the different types of styles that we have. As I said in the intro, this isn't uh, meant to be a, a sort of a showcase of all of the sounds, so I'm not going to show you all the sounds of this thing. Um, but you've seen you can change the level, you can change the speed. Uh, on pretty much every page, there's going to be the level and one other pertinent control, the one that's probably the most uh, used control, or what we felt was the most used control, and then the style control. There's also the actual control button. So what this does is it assigns your hit. So you can have the block off all the time, you can have it on all the time, or you can have it, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, you can have it on when hit is turned on, or you can have it on when hit is turned off. Now to illustrate that a bit better, hit minus means it is on when hit is off. When I press the hit button on, it disappears. So that means it's only on when hit is off, hit minus. If I wanted to go to hit plus, I would turn it off with hit off and have it on when hit's on. Now if I go back and edit that, you'll see it says hit plus. If I were to turn it on in both cases, so I got hit off, I want mod on, and on hit on, mod is on. When I go back to edit here, you'll notice it says on. So hopefully that helps you to, uh, um, to see how that relates. And that's going to be the same parameter through all the effects. Now we're going to look at advanced editing for Micromod. So we're going to go in here. I'm just going to turn off this chopper and this reverb. We don't want to have any of that stuff happening. We're going to go into Edit. We've got a wider Micromod on my voice. And I want to edit a couple other things about Micromod. I'm going to press Edit again. It toggles me into the advanced mode. So you can see back and forth here. I go back and forth by pressing Edit. So dry level. That's the amount of my dry voice that's inside the Micromod. So as I turn this off, all you're hearing is the effect itself. There's no lead voice that's in there. And as I turn it up, my lead voice will become more present within that signal. The width is a fairly easy one. 100% means it's as wide as it'll get. If so, if there's any panning effects within it, uh, you know, a rotor or flanging or anything like that that moves around, then that's going to be wider or narrower. And you can just go from 100% to 0%. Same with the depth. There's the amount of depth hey, that comes in, so we can make it super, super deep or not very deep at all and get even more sort of separated and weird sounding. Um, so you can really mess with the depth. That works very well um, in things like chorusing and stuff like that, where you really have a depth control that kind of emulates what would be on a guitar pedal or any, uh, any chorusing device where you'd have a, a depth control. So that ends us in Micromod. Those are the controls, including the advanced controls of Micromod.